Uh, next, uh, we will hear from Judge Humitiwa. Judge Humitiwa, you may begin. Chairman Johnson, Ranking Member Isa, and members of the subcommittee, I'm honored to testify on the dire need for more district judges in Arizona. As of September 2020, Arizona is fifth in the nation for criminal felony filings and 16th for civil case filings. Since 2003, the JCUS has consistently recommended three to six new judgeships for Arizona, yet it has been 19 years since a new judgeship was authorized. Our need stems Arizona's geography, the tribal presence, and a growing population. 38% of Arizona land is under federal superintendents. Another 27% is tribal land. Arizona also has a 370 mile long border with Mexico, and it is among the top three fastest growing states, home to over 7.4 million people. Recent data also shows sustained and significant growth in Arizona's tribal nations reaching approximately 425,000 persons in 2019. Our caseload continues to grow in complexity and volume. Federal court management statistics from 2018 through 19 show Arizona had a weighted caseload of 800 filings per district judge, which is fifth highest in the country. Arizona's weighted filings were 86% higher than the general standard of 430 cases per judge and 50% higher than the national average of 535. The paucity of district judges uniquely impacts Arizona's 22 tribal nations. In states like Arizona, the federal district court is the felony pr criminal court for tribal nations. We adjudicate crimes arising in Indian country under the Major Crimes Act and Congress has seen fit to enact additional federal crimes that apply to Indian country, including felony child abuse and neglect, sexual abuse and domestic violence offenses. With more crimes come more criminal proceedings. Northern Arizona in particular demonstrates this need. The region covers five counties and 10 Indian nations. From 2016 to 2019, Northern Arizona's criminal filings increased 13% and its civil case filings increased 21%. In 2019, the region's weighted caseload was 774.6, surpassing the national average. If it were a judicial district, it would qualify for at least one new district judge under the US Judicial Conference standard. While there is a federal magistrate judge in Flagstaff, home to Northern Arizona's only federal court, magistrate judges have limited authority. They handle the preliminary stages of felony criminal cases and then must transfer the case to a Phoenix district judge. And many civil cases move south to Phoenix for all pretrial and trial proceedings because magistrate judges cannot dispose of civil cases without the party's consent. Arizona's courtrooms in Phoenix and Tucson pose logistical challenges to those living in Arizona's tribal nations. Criminal proceedings such as grand juries, trials, and sentencings usually take place hundreds of miles away from the accused's family, the victims, and the impacted community. And the demographic reflected in a grand jury or trial jury pool seldom resembles the accused peers or the population in the affected community. When we can, we try to conduct proceedings in the Flagstaff magistrate judge's courtroom. This is more convenient for the accused's family, the victims, tribal and law and federal law enforcement, and the Northern Arizona jury pool. But journey 148 miles north necessarily impacts our other judicial responsibilities. The dis distance from Northern Arizona also inhibits proceedings when we work from Phoenix. A federal judge in Phoenix cannot summon a supervisee from the Navajo Nation or White Mountain Apache Nation and expect him or her to appear the next day. Federal location monitoring is simply not practical up north 
and Arizona ranked the third highest district for supervis supervised release violations from 2013 to 2017. In Arizona, the status quo simply cannot meet the constitutional mandate to administer meaningful justice to all. And I am happy to answer any questions that you have of me. Thank you. Thank you, Judge Himi Tiwa. Uh, next. Uh